Are you looking for an easy way to view your financials or the ability to quickly create or customize reports to suit your business needs? Sage Intelligence Reporting Cloud is now part of Sage 300 and makes this possible. In this video series, I'm going to take a look at this new tool and introduce you to its features. For this first one, I'll show you how to access the program and give a brief tour. When you are signed in to Sage 300, you can open Intelligence Reporting by clicking Intelligence at the top of the page. In the window that appears, click Open. Intelligence Reporting opens in a new tab showing the home page. The first thing to make mention of is that as it starts, Intelligence Reporting loads your Sage 300 data into a memory cache so that it can be quickly and easily accessed. You can see this from the Data Load button near the top right of the window. While data is being pulled, the button is colored blue and appears active. When the data pool is done, the button turns gray and appears inactive. Clicking the Data Load button opens the Data Load window, in which you can choose the financial years for which you'd like data to be extracted. I'll go into detail on this in the next video. Then, on the home page, three functions are included. The first is My Reports. This holds the out-the-box reports that ship with the product, as well as those you create yourself. I'll take a closer look at this shortly. Clicking on Create Financial Report opens the online report designer, where you can design a new layout from scratch. I'll demonstrate all of its finesse in the upcoming videos. Lastly, if you would like to review how to do something while in the program, you can get to this video playlist by selecting Show Me How. Let's now take a look at My Reports. By clicking it, a financials folder is shown. In it, the reports for the category are listed and you are given the options to run, edit, copy, delete, or export each one. I'm sure you can guess what each of these buttons does. But in case you have any doubts, their functions will become clear throughout this series. You'll notice, though, that the Edit and Delete buttons are grayed out and inaccessible for those shown. This is because they are the out-the-box reports, and since they can serve as the basis for others that you create, to ensure that they're always kept in a good state, they can't be changed or removed. The Financial folder also includes the options Create a Report, Quick Create a Report, and Import Report. Create a Report is the same as the Create Financial Report option on the home page, taking you to the online report designer where you can begin your design from scratch. Quick Create a Report lets you add a new one in a few simple steps using a set of predefined columns and rows. And Import Report allows you to load one that has been created under a different organization or by someone else. You're also given the ability to filter the reports listed, making it easy to find a specific one. The last thing I want to point out is the Learn More button on the right of the page. This is a handy help function, giving you quick access to snippets of information, short tours and walkthroughs, and is specific to the page you're on. You can also open the help file from it if you ever need more detail. In closing, if you would like to exit a folder, you can do so using the back button near the top of the window, or you can go directly to the home page using the home button. That's it for now, and I hope you've enjoyed what you've seen so far. In the next lesson, I'll get you up to speed on data loading, as well as show you how to run a report. To view other videos in this series, go to youtube.com forward slash sageintelligence. Also, connect with us at sageintelligence.com and sageintelligencecommunity.com. And if you'd like to brush up on your Excel skills, check out our online courses at sageintelligenceacademy.com. Lastly, we love feedback. So if you found this lesson useful, please like it and share it on your social media channels.